Morning everyone, it's uh, I've no idea what the time is, it's probably gone way past uh, midnight 30 now, let's have a look, it is, oh it's nearly one o'clock in the morning actually, it's midnight 56, well it's the 17th of January, now a Wednesday, uh, so I've had, a, I've had a productive couple of days really, sold a computer over the weekend, there's actually um, the guts from this Dell down here that I recased for him and uh, got a bit of cash for that. I got 75 quid in total. Sold that monitor with it as well. Um, didn't need a keyboard or mouse. My friend sorted him out with that. But uh, yeah. Pretty much because I recased it, that's why it bumped up. That's what they offered, you know. I offered them this one on the floor as it was for 50 because it was good working. I had the video, half decent video card in it and whatnot. But they didn't want the case and they offered the extra 10, 60 quid for the um, swapping it all over. Uh, and then an extra 10 for a video card and then a fiver for the mono. So did treat myself to a few things and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but I've got a couple of computers on here so that one's not mine that's my brother's. I've got to get it working for him so he can sell it on because one he's usually pretty busy and you know by the time he gets time to do things like this he just doesn't feel like doing it. Um, and he doesn't have the patience with computers like I have. <laughs> so, uh, he's given it to me to do. That's not a problem. I'll um, get that up and run him for him. This one. Swap the video card for um, for it. It was working when I, he took it, but it uh, don't work no more. <laughs> the motherboard went... It was either the motherboard or the processor went kaput. But we tried another processor in it. And it still didn't boot up. It was still dead. Um, so I'm not sure if it is the motherboard or... We checked and checked again that we had the right processor to go in that motherboard and uh, apparently it was. Anyway, I'm just going to park my butt on the bed for a minute because uh, we've got a bunch of stuff on here. So one thing I bought were these lights, bike lights, um, very bright as you can see by my face, very very bright actually. They are going on my uh, blue and silver Claude Butler, as the front one. It doesn't give a beam of light, you know, for you to actually see where you're going, but it's a good bright light to help you be seen by other vehicles and whatnot. And they were on sale at $3.99 and they are actually quite well built. And instead of taking the um, CR2032 button batteries, that a lot of the um, lights were that sort of, well, you know, the ones that just clip around your handlebar and whatnot. They take them CR2032s. Um, these take AAAs, so they're a lot easier to get the batteries for. A lot, uh, a lot easier to get in to change the batteries. It's just that clip there. You just push that in and the front pops off. No tools required to put it on the bike at all. It's just that strap. So it just literally goes around your handlebar like that. And you can change the orientation of this as well as the angle. See? Turn it at different angles, and um, yeah, you can actually. There's a little clip there, so you can actually take it off this bracket and turn it round on the bracket. But uh, it's a bit hard to do that one-handed, so I've got those. Uh, when I was over at Mum's Sunday, they gave me this. It's a late Christmas present. And what it is, if I turn it on, there's a little switch on the side here. 
There we go. Hello! Little LED scrolling sign. Programmable as well. You can um, literally have it say anything you want on there, including swear words. I tried that. And this is as simple as just plugging it into your PC. Comes with the CD with the program on it to program this. And it's so easy. I could teach my mum to use it. You literally click on the program, bring opens up the box, and to actually program your messages on there, you can program multiple. There's a button on there so you can, f you know, flick through it. And you literally, you know, there's like a, a, gr a box, a grid, with loads, I well, say loads, I don't know, about six, seven, eight lines. I don't know what how many messages you can actually put on that. There's about eight lines, and you just literally type a message on one line, save it. There's literally just a floppy disk icon. You click on that, and it saves it. You can also, before you save it, send it to this to see what it looks like. Um, so if you're not happy with it, you can um, edit it and whatnot. You get lots of different symbols and things you can use. But yeah, it's just as simple as once you're happy with it, you hit that floppy disk icon and save it and then you can go down to the next line and put another message in there if you <coughs> oh dear <coughs> if you want to that is so I actually love that little gadget right um, there's a new shop opened up in town uh, it's called the community shop and the idea behind it is because a lot of community events, they're all, they all happen because of fundraising, you know. Chroma Carnival, fundraising. Uh, our fun day here in North Walsham is all done by fundraising and whatnot. And by whatever profits they can make during the event as well. Um, so um, the idea with this community shop is... You can donate goods, they sell the goods, um, and all the profits, all of them, aside from what they've got to pay for overheads, you know, the, I suppose the rent on the shop, if they, don't know if they do rent it, I'm pretty certain they do, um, bills, business taxes and whatnot, because they're trading as a business, so they've got all that, once all that's said and done whatever's left in the profits go straight to support local projects and whatnot so um it's all ran by volunteers there's three trustees they don't get a penny either so i don't mind support now if it's going to go back into the town i have moments when i hate this town well it's more like i hate the people in it if i'm honest it's just, it's, uh, it's just a handful of people that, you know, if you let it let it get to you, it'll just ruin it. But, anyway, I grew up in this town, so, and I'm digressing, so, I bought some toy cars. Here's a little uh, Scammel dump truck by Matchbox, well, would have been Lesney when this was uh, around, in the sort of 60s. They call it a snow plow, but it's got this tip of body on the back, so it's, to me it's just a tip of truck with a snow plow mounted on it. Which does actually go up and down. I don't know if it's meant to, but it does go up and down. I've got four more here. I've got this little Ford Corsair. Someone had a go at painting it black. Probably in a very poor paint, because it's all come off. But uh, I was going to restore that one and give that a nice paint job. I've got my second Bedford CA van. I've got another one in the collection. Um, the chassis on my other one isn't in as good condition as it. It, it actually got bent somehow. I don't know how. This is how I got it. But uh, someone's painted this black as well, as you can probably see. There's some blue hiding under there. My other one's blue as well. So I actually thought, give that a good old scrub down and give that a nice uh, 
coat of paint because I'd actually think that's quite a nice little van. <clears throat> and then I bought two of these. And even though I don't actually collect that many toy cars now, there is certain ones that I will still go for. If it's like a little old car that I like, such as this little Corsair, I'll go for it. Or, in this case, a 7 ton Bedford TK Tipper. Um, I've got two of these. But uh, these lorries are actually my favourite classic lorry. I love them. I would love to own one, would love to have a go at driving one and whatnot. Here's the other one, it's actually got a dark red tipping bed on it. Boop. <laughs> Dual rear wheels as well. Yeah, one of my, that's why I bought them, because I love the Bedford TK. So yeah, I would still buy toy cars if it's an emergency vehicle that I don't have. No police, fire, ambulance, etc. Or if it's of a vehicle that I actually like and or love. Especially classic ones. Like these Bedfords and whatnot and here these old matchboxes. I'm not really fussed about the condition. As long as they're not broken, if the paint works worn off, I don't care. As long as they're not broken. You know, like wheels falling off or the, it's been flattened or something. I think that's it for an air. I've got a load of crap on the bed to clear. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. They were selling those at 50p each. These ones, and I might see if I can get some more Thursday when I go in and have a look are a pound each. Now I remember when cars like this were a pound brand new in the shops. Not anymore, they're one pound fifty now. In some places two pounds. Yeah I've got the Chevy Blazer 4 before because it's got fire written on it. It's a sort of souped up fire vehicle. <laughs> and the other one I got because again, it's one of my favourite classic muscle cars. Ford Mustang, and it's the Boss 302 as well. Which is another one that I like. One of my favourite models of Mustang, that is the Boss 302. And uh, usually I rip the packets open, but for some reason I'm not in the mood to. I want to leave them packet in the package. That is unlike me. I am usually the sort that wants to rip the packaging open and, you know, touch it and feel the product inside and whatnot, you know. <laughs> For some reason with them two, no, nope. want to leave it in the case. In the packet, rather. Anyway, that is not all I got from the shop. I did buy quite a lot, actually. Uh, I'm, uh, no, I haven't. They're over here. That was a Christmas present, I've got a watch. Got this DVD, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? One of my favourite films from the 80s. Absolutely love that film. What is this one? I actually unwrapped this from the cellophane, it was brand new. And they were they're selling DVDs in there at a pound each. Not bad, really. Uh, but uh, it's called Food Fight, and it's got Christopher Lloyd, Ed Asner, Charlie Sheen, Eva Longoria, Jerry Stiller and Hilary Duff. I actually only recognise three of those. The animation doesn't look brilliant, especially for a 2012 movie. Well, copyright for this is 2012 anyway. What's got there? It's got Copyright Fireman's Fund Insurance Company. I presume this is 2012. I can't... I can't see any other hints. It's a PG. But, uh, yeah, the animation style doesn't look the best, but who knows. As I say, the proof is in the pudding, so I'll find out when I watch it. I've actually got a couple, there's another one, which is basically a Kung Fu Panda rip 
Panda rather rip off. It really is. So if you're wondering why I bought it to watch, because I want to see how much of a rip off it is. <laughs> right, let's just move that and we'll get to that cable in a minute. They've actually had some Lego in there as well, so I, could, I really could not resist that. Four pounds for this bag of Lego. And you know what? It is actually a set. It's a fire station from 1991. Minus the base for it to sit on. You know, a lot of sets had a baseboard. Obviously, the fire station requires a bigger one. And it didn't have instructions. But, uh, to be fair, I think I should have put the price up on that. But, uh, it will be one of my regular shops to go into to find little trinkets, so... I'm going to order the base plate for this set. It'll have to be when I get paid in about 24 hours' time. But, uh, yeah, I will order it. That's definitely on order. And I got another one for £2. They should have put the same price on each, but I don't know. They didn't. But I got this one. Now, I already had this one up on the shelves here. But as you can see, it's not up there. But yeah, this one, this set cost me £2. Again, it didn't have instructions. And it didn't have this base either. This is my the base I already pardon me. Full of gas tonight. Anyway. Am I done burping? I think I am. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, this is the base plate from the hospital centre that I already had. But mine was rather getting rather old, tatty, faded and worn out looking. So I just thought, I didn't check the, if this was complete, I just started building it. I tipped it out on my table, found the instructions online, demolished my old one. It's actually in a box underneath the um, Lego town and built it. And there was three pieces missing. That was it. One of these, a pair of these legs in white and this black hair piece. That's all that was missing. And it's immaculate. It's in such good condition. I'm actually scared to have this on display because I don't want this to get faded or dirty or anything. Because it is so lovely. That roof plate still isn't on properly. There we go. Um, oh, and the fire station. I went through all the parts on that one. It was almost complete, but again, three parts missing, but... I had three parts that were missing, so I just got to get the plate and then I can uh, build. I'm eager to build it now. I've got a similar base plate, but I want it to be accurate, so I don't want to use that because I'll go and buy this other base plate and then I'll have to try and transfer a building to another one, and that is not easy. But, uh,. So I just decided, you know, wait until I get the board and uh, build it. So I'm quite excited. Um, but yeah, they're my goodies that I got from the new shop. I'm quite looking forward to going back Thursday to see if they've got any goodies. Oh, I've got some CDs as well, but I don't know where they are. But anyway, Mark Hyder asked me the other day if I had a, a long, very long one of these leads. Um, I think he actually messaged me on Facebook and said it needed to be about 9 foot. Don't quite know if this is 9 foot, it's probably very close. Uh, but um, they don't actually do those, well what we call kettle leads, that's what we call these. Common on computers. Even today, they're still used on computers. Been around donkey's years, those types of cable. But they only do them like, I think about a metre, metre and a half, maybe two metres long, I think it's the max. Um, 
So, to get a nine foot long cable, roughly, I'm making one because that is a wireable plug. I can what you know, I can take that screw out and wire it all up. So that's exactly what I've done. So I've just got to put a plug on the other end of it. All that time, and I bet you messaged me just to say good night. No. Skype didn't tell me they had bloody replied. Hey Skype, and it does that. Uh, anyway, I'll show you the plugs. Let me just let the light come on. That is why I dislike fluorescence. There it is. See? So you can make these cables to a custom length. And you can make an extension cable as well if you wanted. Because they do the female end. <laughs> So you can make a custom length um, extension cable as well. So uh, I've just got to stick the plug on that and uh, it'll be good. Right. I do believe... No it isn't. <laughs> I've had a bit of a sort out in these drawers as well. All of my little pony stuff is now in that bottom drawer. These two bottom drawers were full of knickknacks and junk, basically, which I've moved to the chest of drawers in the bedroom. And then these top two drawers. This one, bottom one's now my MLP, MLP drawer. Next one up is currently empty. And then the next top two, basically, I've got my undies in, which I've still got to do some sorting, because I was getting pissed off of it, but it's actually rather full. So I was going to separate my boxes and my socks. I have a sock drawer and a boxer drawer. Make my life a bit easier. Oh, I want to build another Lego police station as well. Another old one like that. I don't know how old it is. I haven't checked the date on it, but... I've got most of the parts apart from the base. But I can order that in. I'll need to find out what other parts I need to order as well, so I've got to go through... Actually, I might do that before I go to bed. Go through the inventory, and... Because um, this website I use for the instructions, I also have a parts list, so you can go through that and uh, find the parts. A number of people, believe it or not, that actually source all the parts to build sets like this even new sets you know like these up there or the really huge expensive modular sets they will source the parts themselves and uh, build it themselves because most of the time you can get the instructions online right anyway i'm going to shut the camera off so uh, tomorrow i'm going to be Maybe tinkering around with that computer, it depends if I'm in the mood, I'm going to turn the bedroom light off because I'm not going to be in there for about another hour. We don't need lights on unnecessarily. Right. So, thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, comments, whatever, you know where to leave them in the comments below. And uh, I will talk to you all again in the next video. Ta-ta.